Let's solve problem number 5 on recurrences using substitution. Here is the problem. Solve the following recurrence relation. Tn is equal to 2 times Tn by 2 plus n if n is greater than 1. If n is equal to 1, then Tn is equal to 1. If n is 1, then Tn is equal to 1. This represents the base case. And Tn equal to 2Tn by 2 plus n represents the recursive case. Here, we are checking if n is greater than 1, then Tn is equal to 2Tn by 2 plus n. This time, we have the recurrence relation and we need to solve this recurrence relation using the substitution method. So, let's apply the substitution method to solve this recurrence relation. We need to start from the recursive case that is Tn equal to 2 times Tn by 2 plus n. How do we solve this recurrence relation? Let's substitute Tn by 2 by 2 Tn by 2 square plus n by 2. Why? Here we can replace n by n by 2. We will get Tn by 2 in the left hand side. In the right hand side, we will get 2Tn by 2 square because n needs to be replaced by n by 2. We will get n by 2 square here. And then, we need to replace n by n by 2 here. So, we will get n by 2 here. So, Tn by 2 is equal to 2 times Tn by 2 square plus n by 2. So, now we know what is Tn by 2. Let's replace Tn by 2 by 2Tn by 2 square plus n by 2. So, Tn is equal to 2 times. This is Tn by 2 plus n. Tn by 2 is 2Tn by 2 square plus n by 2. Now we can open the brackets and we can multiply 2 by these two terms. We will get 2 square Tn by 2 square plus 2 times n by 2. 2 times n by 2 is n. So we will get 2 square Tn by 2 square plus n plus n. What is n plus n? n plus n is 2n. So, this is the value of Tn in terms of Tn by 2 square. Now, let's substitute Tn by 2 square by 2 Tn by 2 cube plus n by 2 square. If we replace n by n by 2 square here, we will get Tn by 2 square in the left hand side and in the right hand side, we will get 2 times Tn by 2 cube plus n by 2 square. So, let's replace Tn by 2 square by 2 Tn by 2 cube plus n by 2 square. The new Tn so obtained is this expression. 2 square times 2 Tn by 2 cube plus n by 2 square plus 2n. After opening the brackets, we will get 2 cube Tn by 2 cube plus 2 square times n by 2 square, which is equal to n, and plus 2n. Now we can add n and 2n. We will get 3n here. We can observe that the power of 2 and the constant before n is same in all these cases. Here we have 2 power 3, and within t also we have 2 power 3. Then here we have 3 times n. If we have 2 power 2 and also within t we have 2 power 2, then here we will have 2 times n. We can continue like this. The new value of tn after this value will be 2 power 4 times tn by 2 power 4 plus 4n. Then we will have 2 power 5 times tn by 2 power 5 plus 5 times n. In this way, we can continue and then we can stop at 2 power k times Tn by 2 power k plus k times n. Tn is equal to 2 power k times Tn by 2 power k plus k times n. We have obtained this from this pattern only. Here we have the power as k. Now we need to represent k 
in terms of n because n represents the size of the input. For this, let's assume n by 2 power k is equal to 1. This means the base case is reached. At this point, I'm assuming this is t1, so n by 2 power k is equal to 1. From this, we can easily obtain the value of k and we know t1 is equal to 1, so we can remove this t function as well. So, we are assuming n by 2 power k is equal to 1. From this, we can obtain the value of k in terms of n. We can multiply both sides by 2 power k and here we will get n equal to 2 power k. Now, we can take logarithm on both sides because k is in the power of 2. We want to bring this to the base. Hence, we need to take logarithm on both sides. After applying log, we will get log n base 2 in the left hand side and log 2 power k base 2 in the right hand side. We can apply the property of logarithm here. Log a power b base c is same as b times log a base c. So, here we will get k times log 2 base 2, which is equal to k because log 2 base 2 is 1. So, k is equal to log n base 2. This is the value of k in terms of n. Now, we can replace n by 2 power k by 1 and we know 2 power k is equal to n. So, we can replace this 2 power k by n. Now, we are getting n times t1 and what about this k? We can replace k by log n base 2. So, we will get log n base 2 times n or n times log n base 2. Now, what is t1? t1 is equal to 1. Therefore, we can replace t1 by 1 and here we will get n times 1 which is equal to n. So, we are getting the expression n plus n times log n base 2. We can observe out of these two terms, n log n base 2 is the dominating term because here we have n and here we have n times log n base 2. This value n log n base 2 is greater than n by log n base 2 times. So, we can say the dominating term is n log n base 2 and hence Tn is big O of n log n. So, if Tn represents the time required to solve some algorithm, then the time required is big O of n log n. So, with this we have solved this recurrence relation. And this means we are done with this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.